Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another timeless general love reading. Please keep in mind it is general. It's definitely not going to resonate with everyone. Check your moon and rising signs as well, as that will give you a much bigger, more well-rounded, broader view of the next four weeks from when you're seeing this. It is timeless, so whenever you're drawn to watch the video is when you're meant to get your messages. This video is, my intention is that the timing of it from when you view it will be good for four to six weeks out. Keep in mind, there is no timing where spirit is, where source is. So, I mean, you could watch this today, but it's actually not anything that's going to take place in your life for three, four, five, six months. But when you're brought to it is when you're supposed to see the messages as a uh, forewarning or just a, a heads up kind of deal. So far, there seems to be a theme to the readings this time. Let's see if you have that same theme. I want to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing purchasing the extended videos, booking private appointments, donating to my channel, and purchasing um, my decks as well as crystal products from my store. Thank you so much, everybody. I truly appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so your first card out is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the tarot alop. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not it. It's tarot apocalypsis deck. <laughs> Your second card out, ten of wands. Oh, look at the look on this poor guy's face. This is painful pulling this pyramid, no doubt. That is a huge burden. Then you have the Emperor. Look at this guy. Next, we have the Prince of Pentacles. Peacock. I love peacocks. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is the center card, which means it is part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. What a great card to have for that. Oh, the tower. That's okay. That's okay. We'll figure that out. Queen of Swords. Look at her in this deck, hey? She looks so sneaky. Queen of Wands. Okay, so two people here. Look at the Queen of Wands. She really does look sexy and sensuous. And um, Okay, so... Prince of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. These could be your people, okay? So now the Prince is, this would be somebody that's younger. There, there's going to be an age gap here between you. Either you are quite a bit younger than your person or they are quite a bit younger than you, okay? With a Prince of Pentacles. But Pentacles, Gemini, it would be the same thing. It's uh, Virgo, <laughs> Capricorn, or Taurus. Queen of Swords, and again... Prince, princess, you know, male, female, switch it however you need it to be. Queen or king of swords, this, this could be you showing up in your own reading, or it could be another Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Queen of wands would be fire signs, so that's Leo, <clears throat> Sagittarius, or Aries. And again, queen or king, okay? It could just be the energies. I like to read them both ways. It could be your person, but then as far as the reading goes, generally it's the energy. Oh, nice. Three of Cups. It's 
it interesting in this deck? Have a look at, at these cups. And the girls, they all have masks that they've taken off. That's interesting. Now this deck too, the book definition of the cards is quite a bit different from the regular tarot decks. I do like to utilize the book definition of this deck because I just, I don't know, I connect with this deck somehow. So anyways, uh, I do... I do base the reading off of messages that come in for you, but the messages start at the base of the card definitions, okay? Sometimes they take me way out in left field, but... Um, bottom of the deck. Oh, the death card. Okay, things are about to get real, apparently, Gemini. Give me a second to take a look at your cards, get a feel for the energy, and any messages coming in. Okay, Gemini. Um, there is a lot of... Uh, to put it mildly, <laughs> determination either needed at this point in your life or it's how you're already feeling. So... This card here, the Eight of Pentacles, this is where you're at-ish because timing is fluid, right? Now also, too, because we are all, there's many different groups of us ascending at different times. So in this reading, there's one of three things. Either you've been there, done that, what I'm talking about. You haven't done it yet, haven't even begun to do it yet or you've started, you're in the midst of going through this. And this would be for those of you who either haven't started it yet or are kind of right here. That's where you're at, the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And then you work your way through to, I don't really call it an outcome, but it's where you're headed, okay? Where you need to be headed, where you are headed. Spirit decides whether or not this is where you need to head because you're not or where you are headed because of circumstance, okay? Um, and again, the Ace of Cups and the Death card. These are your overall energy cards. Now, the Ace of Cups in this deck is not... It's not a new beginning in love. It's not even really, I mean, I guess it could be part of love, but it's more about uh, being spontaneous. And it, it refers to the innocence, I guess, of love. So, yeah, but it's about emotion, okay? It's about spontaneous and innocent emotion. So... With combined with the death card, now the death card does mean the same in this deck that it does in all the other decks. It's about endings, okay? So something is needing to come to an end. Now, I'm going, I'm probably going to clarify that death card because it could be a number of things, and I'm curious, I want to know what's coming to an end. and. Is it this? Is it being spontaneous? When it comes to your emotion, is it... Because to me, spontaneous, when, where emotions are concerned, is it, it would create a back and forth. There's no decisive, definite, forward-moving way of emoting. It's It's, you know... Oh, I'll be like this today, and oh, I'll be like this tomorrow. It's spontaneous. It's, you know, kind of impulsive. So is that what has to come to an end, or is it something else that's coming to an end so you can be more spontaneous and um, have that innocence when it comes to your emotion? But like I said, when it comes time, I'll clarify the death card so we can get a better feel for that. Now... There is a need um, 
for you to learn from others. This, the Eight of Pentacles in this deck, it, it pretty much is the same as every other deck. It's all about gaining benefits uh, and benefiting from the experiences of others, meaning learning, but you're learning from others, right? This would be, um, for me, the message that's coming through with that card is it's it's about spiritual growth and knowledge and expansion. So if you're not already trying to further yourself or benefit yourself on a spiritual level or a psychic level, it's time to start doing so. That's what this card would say. Now, for others of you, you have started doing that. You have been doing that maybe for years, okay? But this is just where we're the, the starting point for this. The message is coming through. Now, the Ten of Wands, obviously, it's um, it's really working hard. Um, this guy is. Like I said, when you look at his face, you can see exactly what he's going through, trying to take care of his responsibilities. And for whatever reason, it's his responsibility to move this, this small pyramid. And I can't imagine how heavy that is, what kind of a weight that would be on him. So, but it's a 10, okay? So it is coming to an end. And I feel like what you're going to benefit from here is gaining that knowledge and that understanding that we don't have to do this. We don't have to bust our butt to chase after money, people, uh, a better life for ourselves, happiness we can attract that to us, right? Now, the emperor, <clears throat> he's kind of the same same thing in this deck that he is in the other decks. He's he's determined. He's unbeatable. He's, he's a force to be reckoned with. But this guy, it's, it's an antiquated way of thinking, being, and doing, because this guy is all about my way or the highway. So for me, what we've had up to this point is learning from others. And others, I feel is, we're going to clarify some cards here, but the others, for me, it's spirit, source, your guides, the angels, whatever you want to call it. It's about gaining more of a, a spiritual knowledge rather than earthly or um, 3D knowledge, okay? This, this Ten of Wands here, that's 3D. That's very human nature, busting your ass, breaking yourself to get something done and doing it your way. There's only one way to do this, and it's my way, and that's the right way. <laughs> and that's coming to an end by the looks of things. Now, the Princess of Pentacle, or sorry, the Prince of Pentacles here, he is the god of ambition. <clears throat> so, although there is a lot of ambition here, and that's what, what allows you to carry this weight or this load and and take care of what you believe are your responsibilities and doing it your way. But, like I said, now we're at the Ace of Cups, which is spontaneous and innocent emotion. It's about being spontaneous. It's about... I don't know if I can put this into words. Uh, I'm getting a mental picture around the innocence part of this Ace of Cups. And it's, again, it's taking me to a place where you're starting over, right? It is an Ace. So it is a gift from the universe, but it's a, it's a, a do-over. It's a redo. Uh, not a redo. Um, 
it's a, it's a new place to start, a new place to begin. The innocence is that of, uh, newness, a newness that, and that's why it's coupled with the death card because it's an ending. This is a beginning, right? And the beginning this new beginning for you has everything to do with the cards that precede it, okay? Now, what I'm hearing is the cards that come after the Ace of Cups. This is where you're headed, right? This is where you're you're moving, how you're moving forward. This is bringing an end to that. And the Tower card in this deck represents um, freedom through the annihilation of your own exterior. So breaking down that wall, that hard outer crust that is of the Emperor. You know that, I know how to do this. This is my way. I'm going to do it my way. That's the right way. It's the only way. I'm not saying that's who you guys are. If that's not you guys, it's your person. So you can flip it, right? But there's a new beginning here is what this is all about. And the new beginning takes you out of this way of thinking, this old antiquated way of thinking and being. And you know, <clears throat> I have to say, Gemini, up to this point, this is kind of the theme for the readings. It's the message is it's about time. It's time to make that change. It's time to let go of the old way of thinking and being and your belief systems and begin anew. Break it down. Break down that wall and and become the new you that you can be. Now, the Queen of Swords in this deck, she is the goddess of truth, and the Queen of Wands is the goddess of joy. So, this will be all about the enlightenment. When you allow this wall to be torn down, that's when you will achieve clarity. That's when you're going to really see things for what they are, how they are, how they should be, the way we should move in life, it, it's all about controlling your thoughts and your emotions. Your thoughts are the electrical impulse that we put out to the universe. Your emotion or, or your feeling around that thought, that is the magnet that draws things to you. So if you're, if you're thinking about things in a negative aspect, or an old way, an old antiquated way of being, 3D way, human being way, then with that comes the struggle, the strain, the stresses, the negativity, the ups and the downs, and the negativity, the positivity, then back to negativity, and it, it's just... It's a really hard way to live. They're, they're, they're making me feel very, like this guy would feel, very weighted down, heavy. Negative energy is very heavy, and therefore it, it lies way down here. It vibrates low. Positive energy is light and airy, and it vibrates up here. And that's why when we are very happy and something happens and it knocks us down, it feels horrible because energy up here feels very good, very lightweight, very bouncy, very freeing. Whereas negative, not so much. It's like being in jail, imprisoned somehow. The tower is all about you breaking free from that way of being the old way of thinking and being and feeling, right? So you can get to that place of joy, true joy and bliss and happiness and love because that's what this card is, the Three of Cups. It's all about happiness, celebration, partying, um, having reason to be grateful for what it is you have in your life. Uh, I want to 
gonna get another deck here. I wanna clarify this death card. I wanna know, I think we kind of already know, but I wanna get confirmation as to what it is that's coming to an end. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, this is, <laughs> you can't get more earthly than an earth sign card. So like I said, it's about letting go of the 3D way of being, the earthly, I mean, you're always gonna be on the planet you know, until it's your time to leave the planet. But just for conversation sake here, as long as you're on this planet, you are going to be an earthly being. But what I mean by that is the way you you think and and be. It's earthly, it's 3D, it's human being. And it's it's time to change. It's time to step into this new enlightened spiritually based you are being divinely guided that is very clear here with the cards you have here you are definitely being divinely guided you're being pushed very much so the tower only ever comes in basically when we've been nudged for quite a while to make a move in a different direction and we dig our heels in. So, you know, it's like a tap on the shoulder a few times and you don't listen. You keep moving in the direction you're moving in and then it's an elbow to the ribs. And if you still don't listen, then it's literally a brick upside the head and that's what the tower card represents. And that's just because you are literally being picked up and moved where you need to go to because you weren't doing it on your own. And for you, it, and it's not just you, Gemini, please don't, don't think I'm, I'm pointing a finger here and judging or doing any of that. I'm not because I'm one of them too. I don't, I didn't get a tower card. I'm at a place now where I'm freely moving forward when I'm guided to do so, regardless of where it's taking me or what it's taking me from. But we've all been there. We all go through this at some point. And it's, it's just time. It's just time. And everybody else, it, so far, is getting the same kind of message. It's time to move forward toward your path. You are being groomed for your life's purpose, your path, your journey. And starting out here, benefiting from others' experiences or learning, learning something new. That's where you start out. This is where you end up. In a place of happiness, so happy and so blissful that you're celebrating. But if you notice, it's right underneath the tower card. So this way of being, this emperor's way of being, this earthly, it's my way, the highway, it's slowing you down. This is the slowest knight in the deck. He's almost at a stop. He's so slow. This guy, if he was any slower, he'd be in reverse. So this is slowing you down. It's, it's stalling your progress. So going from the emperor into the tower, this tower is coming in to make that change, the way you think and feel about things, your, your thought processes and your belief systems, okay? It's bringing that to an end so that you can get to this place of truth and clarity and a knowing and have that that joyous life that is out there waiting for you, the life that you're going to absolutely love. It's so simple. It's nothing like this. It's nothing like that. Once you get past, I had a really tough time with that because you're going to have people watching you saying, uh, that's not how things work. You need to do this. You need to be this way. You need to be that way. Once you can get past people 
you know, the peer pressure of it all and people looking down on you for what direction you're heading in. Life is simple and you will be rewarded, my friend. The universe, once you let go and move in the direction you're being guided to move in, you are rewarded tenfold for all of the work that you do, everything that you've 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 worked on and achieved up to this point, all the BS that you've had to go through in your life, all the crappy lessons you've had to learn. Ugh. You're now in a place. You don't have to do that anymore, Gemini. I know that's what we get used to. I know that's what we we truly start to believe. That is the way it is. But it's not. And you have the opportunity for a brand new, beautiful beginning where you can be spontaneous. You can get up one day and think, I don't feel like working today, so guess what? I'm going to drive to the beach, the mountains, the countryside, and I'm going to take my dog, and I'm going to go for a walk, or I'm going to go for a horseback ride, or I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do that makes me happy. Because that's the life you're headed for. That's what you're being asked to make a switch over to. It's not easy. Once you make that switch, it's super easy. Life is. It couldn't be easier. But making that switch, I get that it's hard. It is hard. It truly is. And I don't think I have anything else I need to clarify. I'm pretty much... The only thing I really wanted to know was the death card, and we really didn't need to know that, did we? Because it basically gave us the answer that we already knew. So, I'm going to draw um, a little bit more advice for you, Gemini, from the Synchronicity deck as well as the Just Ask Oracle deck. And then we will go into the extended because you are fighting this. There is fractured energy here for sure. For sure. Okay, angels. Thank you, angels. Now, I wanted to point it out. I forgot to do it in the beginning, but I've decided that for the Zodiac readings, I'm going to be doing three a week. I don't know if I'm uploading them. I'm probably going to upload them every day that I do them as I do them rather than all three at the end of the week or whatever. But it's just an easier way for me to get a handle on the Zodiac readings. I want to incorporate something else into the month, okay? And it's, it's just, it makes it easier for me. And with the readings being timeless, like I said, Gemini, yours is coming out on Wednesday, the 28th of August. This will be good for you for the next four to six weeks. This is what you need to work on from this point forward over the next four to six weeks. And then I will put out another video for you that will be timeless. And it's not going to be the first of a month, the middle of the month, end of a month, none of that. It's just whenever your four week time period is up is when it comes out. Okay. And then it'll be what you need to work on from that point forward, all right? Yes, obviously. <laughs> you are at a crossroads, Gemini. Do I go 3D? Do I go 5D? <clears throat> you definitely are at a crossroads. You have a decision to make, and that decision is all about you learning. Learning. Um, not that you're not already spiritual or psychic to some degree, but now the push is on for you to up level, right? So your guides, source, spirit, God, whatever you want to call it, is going to be up leveling you and tweaking you spiritually. You're, you're going to be gifted, okay? There's going to be a, a gift because that's what the Ace of Cups is all about as well, right? It's a gift coming in. And this gift is going to be that of up-leveling spiritually and psychically. But you are being asked to um, go to school, so to speak. I don't know how else to say it. But, you know, there are a lot of uh, online courses you can take where spirituality is the theme or psychic abilities. Check out mindvalley.com. 
that's an amazing place for learning. Um, Hay House has audio courses that you can purchase and um, take. YouTube has a ton of stuff video wise that can teach you spiritual and psychic ability. The law of attraction, that's another good one to learn. It is, it is a must. It is a law. It's like the law of gravity. You cannot get around it. You can't get away from it. And that's what this is all about. It's about attracting. It's about getting away from that old way of thinking and, and being. And that old way is chasing after what it is you want and you need. The new way is sitting back and understanding how to attract it mentally and emotionally, right? The idea and then the emotion is the magnet. So if you can think it and feel really happy and really positive at the time you're thinking it, universe will bring more things to you that make you feel happy. So just ask Oracle, what do we need to know for Gemini here, angels? Any more information, please and thank you. Okay, thank you, angels. Okay, so for those of you, you are thinking about a particular person in your life, a particular uh, potential love interest or someone that is currently in your life, Gemini. This could be somebody in your life already that you're already in a relationship with. It could be somebody you want to be in a relationship with. They are a soulmate, for sure. Okay, Gemini, if you would like to know how or what the easiest way is for you to move through this tower moment, this transformation and transition into the new 5D way of being, click below. We will ask the guides what it is you need to do, be, think, and or feel to have the right type of energy in order to draw to you everything you dream of having. Click the link below. I'll see you on the other side. Those of you that aren't going, thank you so much. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.